everybody welcome back to my channel today i'm doing a video on some cauliflower like pancake type of things you know they're like the potato pancakes but you just switch the potato for cauliflower instead so i'm excited to make these i hope they taste really good you know it's my first time making them like mostly all of my videos so let's jump right into it i don't know how long it's gonna take so let's jump right into it i'm gonna show you all the ingredients that you need for this video So as you can see, there are a lot of ingredients and I'm gonna explain to you right now that you need these because the recipe really calls for breadcrumbs, but since we're doing keto, cannot use that, okay? So we're gonna use pork rinds instead. I'm gonna show you how to smash them down really quick, make them into breadcrumbs, and this cauliflower rice, I got this from Grocery Outlet. You could either, if you have a food processor, you can make your own cauliflower rice, but I do not have one, so thank God I found this in the store. So I'm gonna go, first step I'm gonna do is um, steam this so it can be soft. So that's the first step I'm gonna do, so I'll show you that. Okay, so while that's going, I'm gonna smash up my pork rinds. Now, you can put them in a, pla uh, like a little Ziploc bag and then like just smash them down which is probably what I'll do. Usually I do them by hand because it just makes it more fine, but don't feel like doing it. Don't really have time to be doing all of that. So I'm gonna just do the plastic bag way, okay? Okay. We only need one cup, so we don't need that many, but you know, more is always better. So just fill up the bag almost till it's completely full. Make sure you don't zip it all the way. Leave a hole at the end because otherwise the bag's gonna pop because you hit it. Trust me, it's happened to me before. So just take anything, some glass, or just take anything hard. And now we have our breadcrumbs, bam. That easy. It took me like 30 seconds. Okay, so now we have to combine everything into this bowl. So when the cauliflower comes up, then we just put everything in, mix it up. Easy. All right, so let's combine all of these things. I'm getting this all mixed up now. It smells really, really good. So, um, and the thing I'll tell you about that Italian season, don't put too much because that Italian season makes everything too salty. I try not to put too much in here. So, give it a little taste before I put it in. Okay. Okay. Cool. Here we go. Where's that? It tastes hot. It kind of does taste like those potato pancakes already. I need a little bit more salt though. Okay, so now we're gonna take our bowl. It's all mixed up. And we're gonna go over to, it really looks like potatoes in here. That's so crazy. And we're gonna go over to the skillet and make pancakes. See what they taste like. Okay, so I finished. This is what they look like. I had to turn it up higher because it was taking a long time to cook. I think it's because a lot of juice from like the eggs and the cauliflower, but I think they look really good. 
they smell really good so you know what time it is taste test time so we're gonna see what they taste like this this is actually fire like oh my god this is really good like really good this is crazy like let me try and show you but that extra crispy like i told you i love crispy food oh my god If y'all don't make these now, child, I don't know. Like, like I'm, I promise you, it's so good. Like, it's so good. It tastes just like the little potato pancakes. Exactly the same. Like, crazy. Anyway, let me get to the details because I'm about to. Let me get to the details. I'm about to tear these up. Okay. Anyway, so I still have that bowl back there, filled up with mixture. Not filled up, but. This is two, I think you can make like five to six of these with that recipe I just showed you. So I think that's enough, like that's a lot. So that bag of cauliflower rice I had was 12 ounces. So yeah, they said I used one whole head, that was 12 ounces, but that was enough. Like the ratios of ingredients was perfection. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. These are so good, like I promise you they're so good. Like. I'm shocked myself that I, that they're so good and that I even made them. But anyway, that's it. Let me know what you guys think of this video. Let me know if you make it. Um, follow me on Instagram. Subscribe to me. Share this video. And yeah, I hope you enjoy your keto journey. I'm going to do an update on mine in a minute. Um, my keto anniversary is like the end of November. So sometime around there. I'll be doing a one year update. I might bring my mom back for that. See, let me know what y'all think about that. So yeah, all right, thank you for watching. I appreciate all of you guys. Everybody that subscribed to me, I extra appreciate you. So yeah, um, I'll see you in the next video. Have a good rest of your day, bye.